Hi and welcome to a new video. When you purchase a new router or subscribe for a new internet service provider, changing the Wi-Fi password should be your top priority. This way you can keep unauthorized users from connecting to your Wi-Fi network and enjoy uninterrupted browsing activities. In this video, I will show you the easiest way to change your Wi-Fi password on your Mac. Let's go. Before making any changes to your Wi-Fi network, make sure that it is the active Wi-Fi connection on your Mac. Upon establishing the connection, the first step before modifying the Wi-Fi password is to locate your router's IP address in order to access its configuration page. There are three methods on how you can retrieve this. First, you can find it directly on your Mac's Wi-Fi settings. Click on the Wi-Fi icon on the status bar and select Network Preferences from the provided options. From the pop-up menu, click on the Advanced button located at the bottom right and go to the TCP or IP tab. Here, you'll see the corresponding IP address of your Mac within the network. Below is the router address that you require. Then, you can simply copy the address and paste it on any browser to access the router's configuration page. The second option is to look up your router's default IP address online. When searching, make sure to include your router's exact type and model so that the results will provide you the most accurate information. Aside from that, you may also search for the router manual if you prefer. Finally, you can also find the IP address on the router itself. At the back of the device, you should be able to see the default router settings which include the IP address and user credentials you will need to log in to the configuration page. After obtaining the IP address, simply open it in a browser and log in with the default user credentials. Upon successful login, locate the Wireless option from the dashboard's navigation menu and go to Wireless Security. Then, you can change the password on the provided field. Please note that the configuration page may have slight differences in its user interface depending on your Wi-Fi router model or internet service provider. Don't forget to click on the Save button to save your changes. Once all changes have been saved, log out of the configuration page and reconnect to your Wi-Fi network using the new password. If you encounter connectivity issues, you might need to reboot your router and reconnect to your Wi-Fi afterwards. And that's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.